Well, hi everybody, and, and welcome to Jim's Radio Shop. Um, I managed to get the uh, the wire I need uh, to uh, rewind this coil, so I thought I'd uh, switch my attention to this for a bit and have some fun just working on this coil here. Now I've counted the number of turns; it's twenty uh, three, twenty four, and um, I. Uh, kind of rigged up a way of doing this. I'm looking at it now and thinking I must be crazy to think I can do this. But I'm going to remove the old coil. Let's start with that anyway. This is okay, so I'm just kind of attacking it. Look at that. You see, I just pulled the wire and it just broke. This is exactly what I saw on another video about this. Uh, I really don't want to bother unwinding all this. I'd rather just kind of... Yeah! Isn't that a bad move? I was not expecting that. Better slow down here, eh? You might be able to see this better than me. You can see how the insulation just falls apart, and if I just touch it, it's gone. Now this coil is wound just let me take a close up look at that good it's wound on its own a piece of plastic you can kind of see it there and I'm thinking that's got to be pretty fragile too so I just took a close look. I haven't damaged it. That's just somewhat amazing. Oh, this guy will never work again. another close-up look here. That's half the coil. I wonder how these wires were insulated. You know, the basic materials uh, back then for insulation were uh, paper and oil and glass and mica. 
I wonder what this material is. about uh, six or eight strands still left on there. There, see them all move there. So close to hitting the other coil. I'm living dangerously here. Hey, maybe I should push the other way. I can see them much better here. Adam. Come to the connection there. So that connection just be removed. I'm not gonna get any use out of that. is kind of tying it down. Closely. There's a piece right there. bit right there.
Okay. Now, yeah, take a look at what I've done here. You may have noticed this piece in my hand. I've added that on, that screw, and this bracket. I'm trying to get the suit screw right in the center here as best I could. That's a very solid. Okay. And my plan. done in an instant. <laughs> okay. I don't think it's going to be an instant, but that's my plan. That's what I'm thinking. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to make lots of mistakes to get this right. I'm sure I'm going to have quite a few failed starts, in fact, so, luckily, that's a lot of wire, so, <laughs> I can afford to do this a, a few times. Okay, so I'm going to put you up in the penthouse here. This is 36 AWG, 0.13 millimeters, 0 0.05, no, 0 0.005 inches, 5 thousandth of an inch. What's up with that? Tighten the funny little knot there. And so here we are. Is that even visible at all? Oh, yeah, you can see it. done some kind of clever, uh, yeah, I gotta look at this a little more carefully. Yeah. Yeah. If you wind the coil and it stays on the outside because the other coil is underneath it, you have to make the connections to the coil on the outside. But I don't want to make connections to it, I want to run the wire right to the pin. I don't want any joints up here. So, uh, let's see. Way would be, of course, to run the wire across this way. Start the coil at the top, come down like this, and wrap over top of the lead wire. I mean, I guess it would have to be done like that. Oh, I remember that little plastic uh, catch. I think it's right there. Yeah. So I can do that easy. Fantastic. 
But you know what? I should try to get this down on the ground because I keep on doing it with the camera view. I have, I have to raise my hands so much. Okay. I want you to get a really good close look at the mistakes here. <laughs> Probably the first mistake is trying to do this at what, 10 o'clock at night? What time is it? Okay. Got that in there. go. Pull that out. That. And I'll wrap it here. There. Now, I have to bring it up and kind of unhook it, or hook it underneath that plastic, that plastic area there, but So I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on my drill here. I'm just gonna attach it out of view. And the reason is I, I just want to clamp it and get it held in place. I just wanted to see what would happen. So, okay, so there we are. I certainly don't want to kink this wire. Hmm. Let's think about this. There's got to be a uh, <coughs> a phase issue if I wind this coil the wrong way. Pretty sure when I peeled uh, the, this bottom level wire back, when I examined it, and that was going this way at the bottom. So I should go up, catch this edge of it, and head that way. I'm gonna get a good look at this. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a little out of view. Isn't it? Bad focus and all. Sorry about that. So here's a little guy I want to get under. Wait a minute. That little guy's missing there and there's nothing there. Okay, there's nothing there. It's just a gap in there with some Leftover goop. Okay, so maybe I can cut a tiny little gap into that plastic piece. You know, uh, could put the wire up, put some tape around there, and lay the wire over the tape. Could put a small bit of tape to fix that wire in place. Uh, scotch tape. Hmm. I think that's one thing I don't think I have in my office or my uh, shop here. Scotch tape.
Let me try this stuff here. Stick. And a bigger piece. Probably because, you know, I really didn't clean off that plastic very well. Okay. <laughs> I would say, you know, getting the first coil on there is really a big challenge. Normally this would be done with machines that hold everything in place and feed stuff. What have I got? I got a wobbly screwdriver uh, drill here. I thought about this earlier. I've got to make sure I can count. Okay, this thing can be my counter. My hands will be the machine. I need to uh, prop up the drill a little bit. Uh, get it clear, but still steady. What have I got for that? Sometimes the best kind of thing is a little bit of cloth. Give you just the right kind of flexibility. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I don't want to go up on the spinning part of the driller. Okay. I really got to get a recording of a drum roll. <laughs> mm, I better save the drum roll. Now, we got to count these. I'm gonna, what am I going to do at the end? At the end, I'm going to be stuck holding this piece of wire. Uh, also, what, what about I want some more wire off this spool? Because I can, I can stop the drill and handle the wire. I can use my other hand for this to advance the wire. What about the wobble in this thing? Oh, a wobbly coil matter? Okay, I can, I can do this 20 times, so let's... Yeah, wow. <laughs> okay, I see problems already. First one is... Can't let go of the tension for even a moment. Where have I heard that before? Okay, no letting go of tension. Tension a little bit. That wobble's bad news, isn't it? Hey! Oh. Okay, okay, hold on. Let's stop at this point. See if we can fix up this wobble situation a little bit better here.
much better. To get the first one on, you got something to follow. Oh, there you go. Oh boy. Twin, I gotta let go for a moment. I gotta bring out the light. So, I hope that's not too bright for my camera. And now I got this thing all messed up. Okay. Start over again. Let's see, if, if I want to free this other hand again to move this reel, then the unfortunate truth is I'm going to have to put the drill down and it's going to mess the whole thing up. So I'm going to have to hold this drill in this hand by the time I'm doing this. So how am I going to... So I could play out all the wire, but you know, I'm going to end up with probably a knot in it. Surely I can just stick it on something. Hmm. Yeah, that's quite true. That's That's pretty good. And I got it on something. Okay, we're ready for another run. Let's try that. That was, that was a little too tight. The uh, spool wasn't playing it out easy enough. Okay. <laughs> okay, pull this way after we the tape. Ready again. Okay, this will be the keeper. Counting the turns. That's one. can't see well enough. I cannot see. <laughs> Get this guy in here now.
Okay, attempt number, what is this? Okay, let me think this thing over again a little bit. Okay, my magnifier here is so small, it's uh, not helping too much. Let me try the big one. That's my big one here. Let's see if I can get it propped up just right. sure what this looks like on the camera anymore. It's looking pretty crazy here. Is anybody counting? One, two, three, four. This is five. Oh my gosh, that's bad news out of that. So that'd be six. Keep going. Fourteen. Fifteen. I have to chuckle about that. Wire broke at the last minute, man. It's like crossing the Atlantic with the great cable and having it break. Aye.
<laughs> I was almost all the way there. It's like climbing Mount Everest and having to quit near the top. Yeah. Well, I think I'm going to stop the attempt there. And go on the <laughs> I'll post this up on uh, YouTube and uh, I'll hear the crazy comments that uh, about my method here. And I'll think some more about it. I'll probably come up with something a little better. <laughs> yes. What I was up against, I was up against the wobble on this thing for sure. I have to come up with a much better way of steadying it. You know, I, I, can, I just thought of one now. If I get the right size screwdriver, the handle's going to catch the uh, opening up here and go in the shaft just right. Anyway, th thanks for watching me. The, the, uh, Man, it's like riding a cable car and almost getting there and then snap. See y'all later. <laughs>